Hey guys, I'm GamerMate, and in today's video, I made a Roblox game only using GUIs. So the idea for the game is that you control like a frame, and they'll be like spawning in obstacles, and if you touch them, they die and the game restarts. So I added in a frame for the sky, and then gave it a gradient. And then after that, I added in another frame for the player. And then I changed the properties of it, like the size, position, and colour. Then after that, I started working on clouds. So once again, I did it in a frame, and then I gave it a UI corner to make it look round. And then I duplicated it and made six different versions of it. So here are all of the obstacles. And then I added in a local script and made a variable for the user input service. So then we can control the player when we press the key. I also made a variable for the tween service, the frame, and the player. After that, I removed the core GUI by using the set core GUI enabled function. Then I used the input began event on the user input service to run the code when you press a key. I then used an if statement to check if the key was W, and if it was, then we tween the player's position to move up. I also had to check if the player is already at the top of the screen, otherwise we'll be able to keep moving up when we're not supposed to. I then just copy pasted the entire code and then changed it to move the player down instead of up. There we go, so we can move the player up and down. And now I'm going to start working on the obstacles. So first off, we check if the game has loaded. And if it has, then we wait 3 seconds. Then I used a while wait do loop. And inside the loop, I made two variables. So one for an empty table, and one for a random obstacle folder. Then I used the for loop to get the children of the random folder, and then cloned it. And then set the position of it to be off screen. And then set the parent to a frame. I then use the function called callback, which checks to see if the tween has been completed. Then if it has, they will destroy the obstacle. Then under that, we tween in the position to move towards the player. Okay, so once we're in the game, they can see that it starts spawning in, and they also tween. And right now, we don't actually do anything, so to fix that, I'm going to be using this module script that I found over on the dev forum, which will make GUIs be able to collide with each other. So I don't really know how to use this, so I'm just copying what it told me to do. So we're making a collision group, and then setting the player to be a hitter, and the obstacle to be a collider. And then once the collider has been hit, we're going to tween a frame's background transparency to zero, which will hide the game restarting if the player dies. And then set the player's position back to the original position, and then use the for loop to get all of the children of the frame, and if the children's name is obstacle, then we destroy it. And then after that, we tween the frame's background transparency back to 1, which will make it invisible. I also made a variable which will start or stop the obstacles from spawning in. So if we die, then it fades to white and resets everything. And for some reason, it's kind of glitchy, but it gets fixed later on. Then I went to add in a score system, so I did a text label and then changed the properties, and then I duplicated it, and changed the text for the high score. Then over in the script, I used a while wait do loop to keep checking if the player's absolute position is higher than the obstacle's absolute position, and if it is, then we'll add plus one to a score value. But before I did that, I've got to check if the obstacles could actually spawn in or not. Okay, so each time we go through one, then it should increase the score value. There we go. It also adds to the high score value, so I'm just going to quickly get a high score. So if we die, then it'll reset our score back down to zero, but it'll also keep our high score. So yeah, everything's working. So I found another module script that lets you use particles inside of GYs, and I couldn't find any good particles to use, so I just chose this fire one. So if you drag a particle inside of a GY object, then the module script should just do it all for you. So once we play, they can see that particles are coming out the back of a player, because for some reason, we're a purple cube that's set on fire in the sky. Cool. And yeah, so I think that's it for the game. I've never made a GUI game before, so I've probably done some like stuff wrong, or could have made it better. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, then make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. In the description, you can check out my Roblox group and Discord server, and I'll see you later. Bye!